we pay you a very much warm welcome to Holiness Zahid Khan, the Prophet of the God, the Messiah of the Eternities, and New Adam in the Heart of the God. Thank you and God bless you, Atar Suraj Khan, who put in so much effort, and the, all the people who are participate their time. This value will be never forgotten in spiritual life. So, I'm ready, and whatever question you have, let's start it. Thank you so much, Prophet Zaid Khan. Our first question of the session is, uh, what is what is spiritual intelligence means? Is bar me batayega. Rohani mashahida kya hota hai? Shukriya. Spiritual observation, true meaning is that you can see and observe things while you are living on earth with your physical body and just climb this wall, <coughs> the wall of death and observe what's happening in spiritual life. That's what means observation. Observation also means that you are fulfilling the purpose in your life, in lifetime. So that fear is taken away from you and uh, you win over the death. Most 99.99% people, they believe life after death we will come to know spiritual life. This is a wrong. If you are blind here, your spiritual eyes are not open, you will be blind life after death too. Then it will be too late because you have focused on your life on this material, marathon material worries. You should see this phenomena of observation now while you are living. So the observation means to take your blindness away and become a spiritual and your spiritual senses when are restored and this moment observation, observation means true reality come before you but you're going to have a confrontation life after death so and give you opportunity and ability that you can fulfill the purpose of life with God, with God love, now, not later. Later is too late. When the arrow come out, then it's too late. When spirit come out from the body and die, body die, it's too late. Thank you so much, Prophet Zaid Khan. Uh, one of our members has asked the question, can spirituality also help in psychological issues as well? and how. Thank you so much. <coughs> spirituality help totality and in future spirituality therapy in the world of God will be given and uh, people would have no any psychological effect in their life. <coughs> Don't forget all these sickness begin because two reasons. Let's go back to the Adam times. When God left, Adam family got a fear and Adam family got a sadness. These two elements pressurize the nerve systems and when the nerve system is under pressure, different signals take place actually. And mankind are fear and sad. Sad means 
that they have lost their purpose and they do not know how they will can find their home, the true home, which they have forgotten. So in the future, spirituality is the total salvation, total salvation for a human being actually, for their mind to bring and adjust him in the order, their consciousness, their conscience, their emotion and their spirit. So spirituality, that's what we say. Time of religion is end. Time of spirituality began actually. And the time of the way, religion means way, is end. And time of destination began. Today God wants to meet you direct. God saying, I am standing before you as a destination. So if you put in the name of God because you love God, little effort to come to know new teaching, I am pretty sure you will be the light for this world. You will find your salvation, your children, families, and you're going to serve human being to bring them home actually. Uh, sorry, it's a bit slippery. Uh, uh, thank you so much, Prophet Zaid Khan. Our next question is, how do we get rid of bad thoughts during the prayer, such as uh, yoga and meditation, in etc.? Is there any offering in your teaching as well, in spirituality, which can help uh, any individual to have a peace of mind and not have such kind of thoughts during the prayer? Yoga, meditation, different exercise in different religions mostly is try to control the mind and throw the negative energy out and bring the positive energy. That's why all religions say believe in God. New expression of teaching is be positive. But all these exercises are not able and qualified to take away your evil thought. Then question come, what is, how to overcome this evil thought? I give you an example. When you throw some things, your body, your wood, or anything in the fire, then everything becomes part of fire. What can take away your evil thought, settle down your peace, Everlasting love is a burning love of God. Here you find the total salvation, solution of life. Again and again I am saying, God has said now open his heart and revealing very valuable diamond and teaching that in the longest way, shortest way you can come home. I have explained many things. In true moment, uh, romantic love, how far it goes, and what is a medicine? What is a realistic love? And what is the solution of burning love and mystic love? And I have explained different stages in the different value of love. So I ask you again and again. If you want to have a total, out of the evil thought, total you want to have endless peace, total you want to discover the truth, total you want to come to know through your emotion and through your heart who is belong to, then please read our books, you will find home and you're going to have a everlasting salvation and solution of life. Thank you so much, Prophet Zaid Khan. This will be the last question of the session. One of our member has asked the question, uh, even I realize there are so many wrong things I have done in my life and uh, I'm still holding old habits in me. How do I stop my bad habits even I'm trying to do uh, right things in my life? Thank you so much. 
true life is a life of heart. If we repent ourselves and say to God, tomorrow I'm going to begin a new life, and we hold our promise and ask help, you will receive your help, actually. So, most beloved God, who is a, we call two parents, he said to me, mistake can take place, mistake can happen, but let's begin new day with God, with new life. And in this way, you can cut off your past of bad habit. And once again, again and again, I'm saying, if you want total cut off and want to come out this marathon uh, of this material world and worries and all this bad habit, you have to read our book because it is filled with love. God is opening his heart how you can come back. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you so much, Prophet Zaid Khan, for your available time, such a spiritual guidance. And thank you so much uh, for our all members and uh, Brother Prophet Suraj Khan to help us to facilitate this program. And we'll meet you in pure discussion chat group uh, with a new session. Thank you so much, and God bless you all.